Uh, today we're going to talk about wheel lines and the, the maintenance of those. Uh, first we're going to talk about the movers and what we need to watch for those. Uh, we got a basic small engine that takes the maintenance of all small engines. You have oil that needs changed once a year. You need a filter that needs to be changed periodically. Uh, you have gas that, uh, that will go bad that you need to put stabilizer in in the winter time. Uh, so I'm not going to go over a lot about a small engine. Everybody understands about those. We have lawnmowers and it's the same maintenance on those. Uh, it also has a gear system that needs uh, lubricated uh, here, also underneath two places and on both ends two places that we need to keep grease in those uh, as we use these systems. On this side of the mover we have our transmission and we have our gearbox. We need to maintain the oil level in our transmission and we need to maintain the oil level in our gearbox. This is where we put the oil in the gearbox and the drain plug is on the underneath side. The cover is an important part of your mover. It keeps the moisture and the elements away from your motor and your transmission, your gearbox. I think it's very important that you keep your co cover in, in good working order, protect your investment. I think it's important that we mention right now the time for maintenance is in the off season. Whether it's spring or fall, uh, the time to do maintenance is when your sprinkling system is off. If we wait till the sprinkling system is running, uh, we put things off. We, we don't change that leaky bird or the drain or the gasket because we're so busy with other things during the summer. And then it saves downtime. If we do these types of things beforehand, uh, your system will run smoother and longer during the summer when we need the, need the system. First we're going to talk about the bird itself. Uh, you can see this bird has lots of play in it. It's, it's wore out. It's going to leak. It won't be long until that thing will just shoot off into the air and you'll have water spraying out of there. Uh, this is a new bird. It's nice and tight. We'll, we'll go ahead and take it off and replace it. I always, uh, wherever I have uh, threads, I always use a good pipe dope. Uh, that sure makes them come off a lot easier when you try to to uh, to change that. So I'll go ahead and put some dope in the threads. Then change that bird out to a nice new one. We have uh, other joints on this uh, on this that, that wear out. Our leveler wears out, it starts leaking. Uh, sometimes our, our tube will even get so old uh, and when we change these, the threads just just stay with the, the leveler and you'll have to replace that whole thing. So you have those parts. You have your, your L pipe, your leveler, your bird. And the last and most important part of that is your nozzle. This is a new nozzle. It's a flow control nozzle with a, with a rubber insert. I like those. They last a long time and they maintain flow over your whole system. Uh, the drains take maintenance also. Uh, they get so that they're loose inside. They get so they'll stick open. You'll lose a lot of water there. They'll even wear and break and sh shoot a stream of water into the ground. I've, I'm going to come up with an invention one day that I'm going to use my wheel lines to dig post holes because they will drill a post hole underneath that drain if you don't maintain those things. You can lose more water through your drains and your gaskets than you can any other place in your system. Your drains fit on the underneath side of your pipe. You just thread them out and replace them. These type are the spring type, they are the flapper type, uh, and they both have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit now about your gaskets. This is the gasket that goes inside of this, uh, this system. You can, use, you can lose more water through your gasket than about any other place. Uh, we talk about gallons per minute. In nozzles, this uh, heavy nozzle is 10 gallon a minute nozzle, and you can use you can lose 40 or 50 gallon a minute out of a leaky gasket. They just pull out, you insert the new one in, and uh, you've got it replaced and back together. Uh, we have our valve opener here. It also takes maintenance. It has gaskets where the wheel comes through the top. It has gaskets where the uh, opener actually goes over your riser valve. 
also has a gasket where your hose slides in. Any of these points is places where we can lose water. Cows are always a concern around wheel lines. They rub on them, they uh, disconnect the clamps, the wind can roll them away. So it's an important thing to always uh, tie your wheel lines down. Uh, certain wheel lines, depending on the situation, I take them clear apart. I take every wheel line apart and then the cows can't, uh, can't do so much damage.